Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and uh, wanted to talk a little bit today about something that is meteor scatter. So meteor scatter of course is one of the numerous different ways that amateur radio operators can sometimes make contacts, long distance contacts uh, on the VHF range. And um, why we are talking about this? Well, this weekend um, and pretty much, you know, now because um, we are near the peak of the Perseid meteor shower. But the Perseids are of a very, very broad uh, time frame. So we're already seeing Perseids uh, today, August the 8th. But as we'll get to the peak, which is going to be between August 11th, August 13th, there's going to be increased meteors. And when meteors actually enter the atmosphere, they will most of the time, and depending on the size of the meteor, um, create a trail of ionization. So a frequency that, you know, propagates um, at, at 6 meters, for example, 50 megahertz, which is usually line of sight, might suddenly, and for a few seconds, because it, you know, depending on the meteor, it, it could be from a few seconds to a couple of minutes. Um, you know, and sometimes giving enough time to actually do a full, quick contact. And because the proceeds are numerous, uh, typically more than 60 an hour, and uh, lately in the past few years, it's been kind of demonstrated that they even reached like 100 per hour. So that's more than one per minute. That means, you know what, tune the six meter band. And don't just tune the six meter band. Tune known frequencies at certain distances and see if you know something pops up suddenly for a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes um, you know anywhere from the I bands like the 10 meter band and up uh, check it out there's been some reports that some of these uh, ionized trails sometimes are so powerful that they can even um, affect uh, almost you know past 100 megahertz uh, one of the things you can do if you want to monitor meteor scatter, uh, why not have, and that could be a fun experiment for a lot of people, tune an FM radio to an empty frequency on the FM dial and let it just stand there in the static. And if, you know, for brief periods of time, you can hear an FM station come through for a couple of seconds, a minute or two, well, you know what? That could be from meteor scatter. Um, of course, if you're a amateur radio operator, it might be interesting to go through the uh, six meter band and uh, see if anything pops up. It's uh, one of the fun things that you can check out. And um, you know, it's one of those unusual and, and, and interesting ways of propagating uh, radio signals. So uh, this weekend, and you know, anytime there's a meteor shower, um, it's always, you know, interesting to try it out and who knows what will actually happen. So um, have fun listening to the radio. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.